Hey guys, it's me Paula and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Paula and I do some unboxings along with a couple of other things like hauls and reviews, things like that. Anyway, today I am super excited because finally, and, I, and I'll tell you why in a minute, I've got my Dot Box. Now, Dot Box, if you don't know what it is, it is a subscription from the US and it does a lot of things like um, self-care things but also along with period supplies. Now, if you're from the UK, you'll remember Pink Parcel. It's a bit like a kind of amped up version of Pink Parcel. So this is $39.99 a month. I think it's free postage in the US, but obviously in the UK, it's about, I think it's about $20 subscription for uh, $20 postage and packaging. Now, this little box, I think it's my August box, my first box. Now, this little box has been all over the place. It's been all around the US. It's even been to Australia because I've been tracking it. You know, you get the tracking number and you can track where it's been. So this, this box has been on its holidays. It's travelled. It's travelled more than probably most of us are going to over the next couple of years due to COVID. So, yeah, I have no idea what happened. I emailed them a lot, you know, a couple of times and they said, yes, yes, they can still see it on their tracking. Um why it went to Australia I've absolutely no idea but anyway it's here now so I'm gonna dig in um also I've, I think I'm due to get my next dot box tomorrow I've got a notification saying it's arriving tomorrow so yeah this box must have got lost because I have no idea why it would have been sent to Australia because it's completely not the right route for being sent from the US anyway uh, so I'm going to get two dot boxes in the space of a couple of days. Anyway, I am excited. I've seen a lot of people, sorry for shouting in the background, my son's playing Xbox with their friends. They're off today because it's a holiday in Aberdeen and they're just going crazy shouting each other on their headsets. So yeah, this is... Um, I'm excited about this box because I've seen um, a couple of YouTubers unbox it and it looks really good. Um, Georgia Sunshine unboxes both this one and the teenage one. So you get the adult box and you can they also do one for sort of teenage girls as well. They also do something really good, which is my first period subscription. So if you've got a daughter, it's coming up to teenage years, you could purchase it and it's got loads of nice little pampering things. So when they first uh, get their first period, you, you've got a nice little box of treats and... Um, obviously peated supplies so this is the adult one and this is, says you are beautiful thank you uh, so this one says here so you are beautiful and it says here everything's in the box now uh, it says welcome to your plain jane box hi i'm shauna and i'm a plain jane in lieu of my birthday month i wanted to welcome you into my world of minimalism it's actually a family-owned company that's that's what i should say a daughter a uh, mother and daughter company where mascara is only for special occasions. I honestly don't know my foundation colour. No, seriously, I don't have a clue what it is. When did life become so complicated? There are more than 50 variations of laundry detergent, shampoo and conditioner are on both sides of the aisle. Body soap, body, body wash and body lotion have their own massive section in stores. And the vast majority of all is bad for your skin, your home or your environment. This month's box is carefully created to take you to a simpler time when our everyday products are made with clean, wholesome and environmentally safe ingredients. You don't have to be a plain Jane to appreciate minimalism, but your lifestyle will thank you for it. Okay, so the dive in here. The first thing I can see here is a lot of snacks. Brilliant. I love, I'll put this over here, love me some snacks. So what is here? Clean eat, vegan, gluten-free, paleo and keto friendly. I'm hoping these nice because sometimes when you get and I think people are always very amping these things up on their channel oh yes vegan and you know gluten free and everything I have to say yes is good and all these things are good for you and everything and they're probably but sometimes you just want a bit of standard chocolate to see you through a cold evening with a cup of tea and you don't necessarily want um <laughs> something that's free from everything so it doesn't taste of anything but i mean a lot of actually having said that a lot of things i've had recently that have been you know more vegan and gluten free have been a lot nicer than they used to be so here we've got some plantain sea strips in the flavor sea salt i think plantain is kind of like potatoes is it or yams or whatever you call them but slightly different so oh no they're oh they're bananas oh i'm looking at a picture i'm seeing plantains so we call them the same as bananas, 
please somebody put down a comment down below so these are we only use single source premium dominico heart and plantains they're like the rolls royce of plantains so i take it then plantains are bananas i thought they were kind of a potato maybe i'm thinking of yams so we've got these ones we've also got a dark chocolate chip yes bar world's best in tasting snack bar this looks really nice so that's that one there um, and we've also got a Noosh Pineapple Mango Cake. That sounds delicious. Pineapple Mango Cake from Noosh. Does it say anything here? It says... I don't think it actually gives us any information on the actual snacks. We've got those snacks. The next thing we've got in here is we have some hand wipes. Soap and water hand wipes, free and clear contains biodegradable toilet and I think we've got how many do we get in here we've got four so it says squeaky clean hands no sink required so these are great for I suppose the covid times at the moment when you're out and about and you want to you know clean your hands and get rid of germs so it says here have we got any information on that I've got any information this, these must be extra gifts the next thing we've got oh Oh, that smells gorgeous. The Modest Skin Alchemy, producer of Los Angeles, California, artisan skincare for body, soul and peace of mind. While this type of clay is quite rare, it's seriously anti-pollution ally. Blue clay is renowned for its gentleness and invigorating virtues, restoring vitality to the skin. This is number 52. I haven't heard this brand, but obviously it must be like an artisan brand from the US. So let's see what it says about that. Surely, surely we get some information on that one. Okay, soap bar. Long before we were spoiled with body wash, that was tri there was triple milled soap. Your par, your am I, is this even the right thing? Fa no, I'm going the wrong one here. Sorry, facial bar. I'm really stuffing this up today. I apologise. I'm. I think I'm sort of coming down with the cold, but my kids have been sneezing all week. So, handmade with rare clay, this face bar is your new skin cap. Skin Kit Alley. Blue clay is, clay is renowned for its gentleness and invigorating virtues and restoring vitality to all skin type. It oxygenates skin, removes impurities and dead skin. Its properties are known for restoring radiance, leaving you with a refreshed, balanced and scrupulously clean face. With a natural skincare routine, you're eliminating the need to stand in the aisle for four to five minutes, deciding if you want to moisturise, exfoliate, tighten, reduce eye puffiness, shrink pores, or reduce the appearance of acne, scars, or ageing. The following four ingredients take care of it all for less than $20. Use coconut oil to wipe away impurities and pollutants from your face, followed by an even mixture of raw honey and cinnamon as an exfoliate one to two times a week. Slice a lemon or strawberry, then rub the slices on your face for organic folic acid. Allow it to sit for 10 to 15 minutes before rinsing off. It's clean, natural goodness is right in your pantry. Don't forget to moisturise. The next thing we've got here is a bamboo toothbrush. Um, I love bamboo toothbrushes. I have to say I use bamboo toothbrushes at the moment as well. And it's got a nice container. So this is from Smile. And it's a nice one there, nice good size. I just love these. So buy um, bamboo toothbrushes and like other kind of plastic sisters and brothers which take ages to biodegrade uh you know you have thousands of years bamboo toothbrushes natural ingredients and biodegrade really easily and it's obviously wooden you know they're wooden handles and we've got a lovely lovely holder there as well so if you go away on holiday and stuff you can take it with you so it says there okay a toothbrush isn't for your face but your mouth is on your face right bamboo based toothbrushes eliminate unnecessary waste while giving you the same quality cleaning as a plastic brush with your case and brush made of bamboo recycling and comp composting has never been easier now design the logo for you ladies and i think she did a pretty awesome job the next thing we've got is bamboo um cotton swab is very useful this box tends to be pretty useful from what i've seen in other unboxings so um, it says here too many plastic cotton bugs are landing in our oceans and landfills switch an eco-friendly choice for a cleaner planet planet bamboo is a sustainable renewable resource that's stronger than paper sticks that do not cope well with water used to clean your ears apply makeup oh should you be using it to clean your ears though i've, I've heard you shouldn't apply makeup clean your electronics on or arts and crafts Please forgive the fact that the packaging is not labelled. We're just as thrown off as you are. The next thing we've got is a facial serum. So it's like a vitamin, little tiny vitamin C serum. And it says here, 
Uh, this dropper contains my personal stash. It's all natural. So there's no fancy smancy ingredients, synthetics, gels, words you cannot pronounce or concentrates made with heavy hitters, organic aloe, omega-3 and 6 enriched rosehip oil, antioxidant, loaded organic cranberry, raspberry and blueberry extracts and clarifying white willow bark. To use, place two to three drops on your fingertips, dot in different areas of your face, then rub into your skin using circular motions. A little goes a very long way. While small and diffused correctly, this should last you about a month. So I've got so many serums at the moment, so I'll probably pop this in a, in a giveaway. The next thing we've got here is uh, the period supplies. Now, period supplies there. So the normal, I now, I'm wondering if, if I look at Georgia Sunshine's uh, unboxings, normally they have like heat pads and, you know, um, also they have like maybe um, sort of paracetamol or Tylenol, I think they call it in the US. They don't have this in this one. So I'm wondering if, they just don't pop it in the UK boxes because it's going overseas there might be some kind of regulations there but normally when Georgia Sunshine's unboxing it they have like like I say heat pads for sore stomachs some you know a couple of anodin or Tylenol or whatever but what they do is they give you your you can decide if you want tampons if you want um pads you write down your favorite brands that you that you get that you like um if you have a mixture of those if you want panty liners as well and they'll give you that. Usually, I don't know if, if, like I say, the reason I don't have it is because I'm a UK customer. But in the US, they certainly have um, a couple of extras in there. But the next thing I've got here is a goat's milk lotion. A creamy blend of organic goat's milk, organic coconut oil, vitamin E, meadow foam sea oil. And organic white willow bulk extracts, organic neem. I don't know what that is. Uh, seed oil, organic rosemary leaf extract and sunflower seed oil. So it's a lotion. I do like goat's milk's products, actually. I do like, for example, the Kate Somerville goat's milk uh, moisturiser. It's really good. So it says here, let's... Uh, so it said that um, goat's milk is loaded with 50 essential vitamins and skin nourishing minerals. Dermatologists recommended for acne, eczema, psoriasis, rashes and sunburn, which is great because I get a bit of eczema on my hands and I get psoriasis on my ankles. I made it as pure as possible, adding a zero fragrance which allows the willow bark extra to give it a faint but natural green scent. So I take it this is maybe something they've made themselves. But then this box keeps going. The next thing I've got is a so soapery. Uh, this is the Parsley Aloe Exfoliate and Soothe Bar. And I think this is a bar for your body. And it says here... Um, your par parsley aloe soap bar from Soapery blends fine pieces of parsley with aloe and seaweed extracts. Your soap is triple milled with the company's original recipe created in 1759 and awards one of the cleanest soap bars on the market. And the last thing we've got is things for the house. And we've got So Clean and So, so Fret, the handmade laundry soap. So this is for your laundry. Um, laundry So it says here... Uh, this is my grandmother's recipe that was handmade for you by her last living sibling, my 87-year-old grand great aunt Ida May. We added the cute packaging to get you pumped about using it. This laundry soap cleans and leaves no residue built up on materials. Um, no residue means there's absolutely nothing left to irritate skin. It's environmentally friendly, septic friendly, safer HE machines because it's got low sudsang and safer all skin types. It's even tough enough to remove car oil from fabric. Use one tablespoon for light loads, two tablespoons for reg loads, and four tablespoons, a quarter of a cup for large heavier loads. You'll never need more than a quarter cup regardless of the level of dirt or odour. The ingredients are old school, olive oil, water, lye, borax, washing soda and baking soda. And the last thing we've got in here is some dryer balls. Now, this is something I may have to keep for the future because I don't actually have a tumble dryer at the moment. <laughs> um, so, dryer balls... This is what they look like. And you get two of them in the in the bag, two of them in the bag, and they've got a nice little bag there to keep them in. Um, and it says here, dryer sheets are soaked with, soaked with synthetic chemicals that coat your clothes and transfer to your skin. They cause your dryer to emit up to eight hazardous air pollutants in your home that would fail a car emissions test. Dryer balls are made of 100% premium New Zealand wool. Adding wool dryer balls to your dryer will help soften your clothes without synthetic chemicals. There's significantly decreased drying time 
um, by 25%, which ultimately reduces your tilty bill. They also save landfills from disposable dryer sheets. Each ball lasts a thousand loads. To use, toss both balls in the dryer. At the beginning of the cycle, or leave in your dryer so they're always ready to go for a light natural scent. Sprinkle a few drops of essential oils into your bulb before tossing in the dryer. Allow the oil to dry for 10 minutes to avoid staining your fabric. So that's really cool. So what do we get in total? So we've got the sanitary products. We got the dryer balls. We got the uh, soap for your body. We got the goat's milk lotion. We got the bamboo toothbrush and toothbrush holder. We got the um, detergent, the cotton buds, the serum, the um, soap for your face, which looks really nice, and we got the snacks. So, yeah, it's pretty good, pretty good introductory box for me. Um, probably not the most exciting box. I'd have to say that I've seen um, an opened, opened by bo um, dot box. I'm looking forward to see what I get on Saturday because, yeah, I mean, it's been good. I love clean products. I love stuff for, you know, the, the home. I love environmentally th friendly things. I'm really pumped to be getting some of those things. I'm not a big, massive fan of soap bars, I have to say. So, yeah, I have limited excitement over the soap bars, but and I've got a, quite a few soap bars used by Skin Alchemist that I got in another box. But yeah, I mean, you know, it's probably good to try to be moving towards more of these sort of things. Anyway, tell me what you think below. Did you like watching this unboxing, especially if you UK subscribers who maybe, you know, um, I've not seen Dot Box being unboxed before. Is it something you consider getting? Yes, I would say the packaging's quite. The postage and packaging is quite steep from the US, but all, they always are. Um, um, you know, this is something I might try out for a few months just to see how it goes. It might not be something that stays permanently on my channel. Um, it'd be fabulous if we got like a box like this in the UK. I know we did get um pink parcel, but I don't think pink parcel is quite as good as this one. And there's so much variety in this box I think and if you look at previous unboxings by people like Georgia Sunshine you can you can see exactly what type of things you get there anyway thanks very much for watching um drop down a comment below and if you haven't subscribed already it'd be fab for you to subscribe we're only a few people away from my 400 subscriber unboxing so um giveaway so thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye bye